What's up guys? Welcome back to this channel, Coinstar1337. In today's video, I want to discuss this idea going around that Bitcoin is in an S-curve and that we're not in a bubble, but we're in a S-curve pattern. So, if you've been watching Bitcoin for this year, you have seen it gone up massively in terms of price. And I'm seeing some people circulate this graph saying that what we're seeing is that actually an S-curve pattern. If you look at this graph here, you can see different technology adoption rates over time. And you can see, for instance, the computer right here, this blue line here. And as time goes on, you can see adoption rates just go higher and higher, faster and faster. You can see the cell phone, same with the internet. And we can, so if you were to extrapolate this onto Bitcoin, some people are saying that Bitcoin is going to see a similar S curve and, that's weird, and that we are actually just in the beginning phase of that now. And that's why we're seeing this and that we're going to just go higher, higher, higher. <clears throat> One flaw to this argument though is that this graph here is talking about technology as a whole. So if we we're going to extrapolate that back onto Bitcoin, Bitcoin is a blockchain technology. Bitcoin in itself and other cryptos are all based off of this technology known as the blockchain. If you're not familiar with blockchain technology, look that up. There's tons of info on that free. You don't have to pay Ty Lopez to learn about Bitcoin and blockchain technology. All right. So that same thing with the internet. Internet is the underlying technology. Computers. Computer is the underlying technology that is being displayed here in this graph. Now, Bitcoin was the very first blockchain-based cryptocurrency. Uh, IBM was the very first or one of the very first computers. Are they still around today? Are they still way up there in price value? I don't know. It, I think it's Apple now is the top one. So that's the same way with Bitcoin. I don't think Bitcoin is going to be the top one, you know, 10, 20 years down the road. I do think we're going to get a correction still. I do think we're going to go back up, but it's probably going to be three or four years before we see that reversal for the Bitcoin price. Now, in terms of adoption, I definitely see blockchain technologies being adopted on this S-curve rate. I believe if you look at this graph here, this is showing the different types of adopters and what phases they usually come in at. I believe we are in this early majority phase. Later on, we're going to see this phase, and then we're going to go into the laggards phase. Right now, I believe we are probably around in here when it comes to the amount of people we are starting to see. Um, yesterday, I was standing in line for a movie, and I was overhearing people talking about Bitcoin. Um, I used to not overhear people talk about Bitcoin. They would always talk about something else that never was Bitcoin. So I think we're in the early majority. I'm hearing people at my friends jobs and stuff talking about Bitcoin okay so I think we're here when it comes to that here's another S curve I'll leave links to these in the description down below and I do think that we could see I'm not sure yet but we could see this is total market cap of all cryptos total market cap I can definitely see that turn into an S curve because this is measuring the sum total of all cryptos I can see this maybe turning into an S curve, but as far as seeing Bitcoin by itself be an S curve, I definitely do not see that happening. Um, but I want to look at this graph here. This is showing the price action of Bitcoin since 2000 and late 2010, all up into 2016, and then it shows a projection line going out into the year 2024. And if Bitcoin was to continue to follow this projection line, we can see Bitcoin at $100,000 by the year 2023. And uh, right now, just to give you a perspective, right now Bitcoin is at around 18000 That's going to put us right here because this is 2017. We're at the end of it. So this will put us right here on the price action. So just to give you an idea. If we were to see a repeat of this previous price action, we could see the price go down to meet this projection line, maybe even go under this projected line and come back up to it. So anyways, that's going to conclude this video. My thoughts on S-curves. Is Bitcoin in the S-curve or is Bitcoin in a bubble? I think that right now we're in a price bubble. However, blockchain technology is going to be an S-curve. 
All right, guys, I'm out.